Hi guys, welcome to the MCQs of SCPM. I am CA Anuj Jalota. We are trying to be covering every possible question. You know, age has come whereby it is becoming difficult to do the business because expectations from the customers are increasing to a great, great, great extent. When you will become CA, you will start to be realizing that competition is there now in every field, whether it is uh, running your business or it is climbing the ladders of a corporate everywhere. There is a term that has now come that there is hyper competition in the market. This question is all about that. By the way, in case you are interested in purchasing my complete course of SCPM, link is there in the description. Kindly do that and join my telegram channel and uh, the group for the frequent updates uh, of this subject. Let's start it off. Our question for today is what characterizes the condition of hyper competition in the market? Uh, where there is hyper competition, let me try to be thinking of. Telecom industry, okay, somebody can be saying the, there are only three players. I understand, but I think that there is hyper competition between them. Geo launches something, Airtel tries to be launching and Vodafone in its limited capacity tries to be saying. Somebody can be saying some wrong example okay then let's try to have somewhat better example because somebody can be saying sir this is not hyper competition this is monopolistic competition very few sellers and many number of buyers all correct okay but then among them there is fierce competition in any case i guess a better example could be the phone market today how many companies are there in india operating their phones you have asus you have uh, google pixel then realme vivo oppo motorola oneplus samsung apple nokia xiaomi okay there are so many companies one company will launch a phone okay say of ten thousand rupees in five days some other company will be launching slightly a better phone for nine thousand rupees okay so automatically like you know competition is so fierce every company tries to stand out either by better products or by reducing the prices look at like you know what is happening with the car sector now there are so many companies in the car industry are so many companies ranging from say audi then Bentley, then BMW, Jeep, Jaguar, Hyundai, uh, Tata is like, you know, I try to be thinking one of the best companies in future is going to be this only because of its uh, collaboration, like, you know, with Jaguar up in Swan or because it acquired them. Okay, then Honda is there, then Honda is there, so many companies and Mercedes is there, blah, blah, blah. Huh. Our age old, so Maruti Suzuki also like, you know, is the biggest company over there. So, what happens when there is hyper competition? That was whatever was the question all about. Okay, so whenever there is hyper competition, reduced instability and bargaining power of buyers. In fact, no. At that time, bargaining power of buyers will increase. We as buyer can bargain far more because there are a lot of options that are there. Okay, like, you know, as Porter, five forces model that was there in chapter number one, if you all remember, Due to the competition, bargaining power of buyers will always increase. Okay, that is first. Second, so first is not your answer. Second, weekend bargaining power of buyers. Again, wrong. Okay, so bargaining power of buyers is higher beta. Intense competition leading to market stability. No, market instability. You all will understand that like, you know, if some company will not be able to match up with the competition, they will disappear from the market. Okay. Simple example in my previous uh, photograph that I showed you of the phone market, Nokia was not there. Okay. Due to hyper competition might be today. Nobody buys it also. Okay. So even third is not the answer. There is no market stability over here. Fourth, intense competition causing market instability, yes, and strengthening the bargaining power of buyers. Obviously, the bargaining power of buyers starts to become far, far, far better over here because they have substitutes, okay? Either if they will not buy this, they will buy something else, okay? So, they will always have a choice. Like, you know, these days we also start to be feeling like, you know, somebody calls us, uh, some student, like, you know, we say this is the price of our full lectures. They all say, please give some discount. Wo to isi rate ki upar deta hai. Then we say, go and buy from there. Okay, simple. Okay, we are not fighting a war of intense competition. Okay, as far as I go, I am not trying to be doing those particular things. Okay, so in our industry, hyper competition might be there. I am not part of that competition. That is for sure. 
बट येस इफ देर इज इंटेंस कॉम्पिटिशन ओके कॉजिंग द मार्केट इनस्टेबिलिटी एंड स्ट्रेंथनिंग द बार्गेनिंग पावर ऑफ द बायर्स दैट स्टेटमेंट परफेक्टली मेक सेंस इन अ हाइपर कंपिटेटिव मार्केट ओके सो फोर्थ शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर सो फोर्थ शुड बी द करेक्ट आंसर दैट्स इट फ्रॉम माई साइड ओके I try to say few things that like you know might act as a negative thing for the student, but then few correct things I always say whether somebody likes or not because that is whatever is a purpose for which I am trying to have all my lectures over here. I try to put out my best content, and honestly, I always want that it reaches the correct audience because the way that I try to be teaching this subject is full practical. Okay. i am not marks oriented although i was also a ranker okay but there is nothing great in being a ranker because your success is not driven by your marks yes it gives you the boost and you should always strive for ranks okay but then do remember that ultimately you should try to have a balanced life try to study try to play this age of playing will also not come back no okay so like you know many professors might keep on saying keep on studying this life will not come back you concentrate on your career everybody does that okay everybody concentrates on their career okay do your studies in a systematic way if you think 4 hours are enough for you every day then from beginning put 4 hours put 1 hour for playing also okay that thing is part of your life okay if you'll only do studies one day you'll get fed up from studies and you'll start to be thinking that uh, ca has become a burdenous thing for you and honestly 90% of the students who fail are only because of this particular thing because they all think that the ca thing has become too boring why because they have overdone it you are sad. saturated okay and you are saturated by the information that is going on one professor says do this i have these notes i have these start simple pick up your module and study no yaar that is simple way of doing you will spend less time you will not listen to any bogus things okay institute has made the books no for you so try to be doing that everybody will be passing with that it's only that when you try to hear of 10 people ultimately you do nothing okay so simple pick up the books of the institute yes there might be 0.5% of error in that okay but it's fine here means if you will get your modules correct you have a chance chance to get 99.5 no okay that is good enough i guess okay this is the qr code that has a playlist link that will give you all the mcqs that we all have launched so far and we will be launching okay so thank you till the time you meet next time stay fit stay healthy